Hi, this is Lady Lex UK, and this is the Single Prop Challenge. Now, before we see the results of last week, let me set you challenge number four. And I have chosen this lovely object. This is the ancient shrine. It's a sort of crystal thing on a base. What does that remind you of? What could you turn that into? You've got all the props in the gallery to choose from to add to this to make your new item. You don't have to just use this prop, but this needs to be the star of the show regardless. There we go. So what can you make out of that? Have a think. If you want to enter the challenge, all you need to do is put a screenshot or a clip on the Project Spark Team Club feed, or you can put it up on YouTube and send me a link in the comments, or you can send me a message on Twitter at LadyLexUK. Uh, there's the three ways. Uh, PC or Xbox, anybody that plays Project Spark and you want to have a go at this challenge, there we go. That's the single prop challenge for this week. So now let's have a look at uh, what you made with uh, last week's challenge prop. And last week's challenge prop was this lovely thing. This is the laser rifle. There it is there. It's flashing because it's a tumbling object. There we go. Okay, we start off with Lord Bagramon and his uh, gunner fighter drone thing. Um, he's used the uh, guns for arms and the body. Uh, the guns are being fired upside down. Very gangster. Uh, and he's used a grenade for a, for a head design. That looks quite effective for a drone. I think he's put that on the uh, the drone model. And here we have uh, a spaceship designed by I'm Very Hungry. He likes to make a, a real challenge out of uh, out of it. He's always used just the one prop. So this is just just the laser rifle, I think, that he's used here to make his spaceship. It's very effective, but he doesn't. He makes that more difficult for himself, I think, by using one prop. But that looks good. The colours particularly, I think that's very effective. That looks really good. Okay, so there were the two uh, challenge entries, as you agree. Very good indeed. Right then, uh, let's see what I made which is hiding over here. Let me go into test mode. So uh, first of all, you can see uh, in the background there, I have a train. I thought it looked a bit like a, like a modern bullet train, like a diesel train. So I put it on a track and uh, there's my train. I think that looks bad. I think you could, you could do something with that. You can adapt it and change it. And uh, over here, I've sort of made a a wall building, maybe even another train um, by sticking the guns together. I can see that you could use that. Oh, it's backing out of the station. Uh, you could use that for all sorts of things uh, to make it like a futuristic uh, spaceport or something like that. Uh, as you can see what I'm wearing, I'm wearing a gun on the top of my head there and two over my shoulders to make sort of uh, mech armour type thing. And you can see there's a sphere on my head. There we go, like that. And uh, over here I've made a turnstile, the sort of things that you get at subways. There we go. And it only opens one way. So I can't come through it the other way. There we go. Like so. As my train goes backwards and forwards on this track. Right then, let me show you how I made all of those things. Um, obviously the train is just uh, following a path. Uh, like so. I don't need to show you the brain for that. Um, the sphere on his head. Now it doesn't work so well when the character's running. But when he's standing still it's not bad. Um, all I've done, if I can get hold of my player, not the accoutrements, hang on, can't grab him. 
I'll grab his feet. Um, I'm drawing a sphere, uh, 0.2 size at the head position in blue. And that's what that does. That draws a sphere on my player's head that acts as a sort of helmet. And it, like I say, it works really well until he starts running. And also the uh, the helmety part of this yeah, works fine unless he's in his idle animation and doing silly stuff, otherwise it works lovely. And there's, there's nothing you can do about that. That's that's the limit of the project spot. Okay, here, um, you can see I've used my favorite cylinders again. Um, so when the player is in the trigger zone, which is plonked here, so when the player is in the trigger zone, um, then an open boolean equals true. When the open boolean is true, then for 1.5 seconds, I'm going to turn that uh, cylinder, and then after one same amount of time, I'm going to do it again, but in the opposite direction. And then I'm going to say open equals false. So you can do it again. And this one is exactly the same, except these turn in the opposite directions. And that's it. There's my turn style. I think that looks quite good. I uh, uh, I think it looks very similar to the sort of thing that you get uh, in ticket machines and barriers and things like football stadiums and uh, underground subways, that sort of thing train stations I think that's quite good so there you go there were the props for last week and this is what we made so get making what can you make with this crystal and ancient shrine and uh, I look forward to seeing the results for next week so thanks for watching and keep 